Introduction to the Kaveri Engine Program India's ambition to emerge as a technologically self-reliant power has long driven its defense modernization strategies. Among the many elements vital to national security, aerospace propulsion systems, particularly jet engines, remain one of the most complex and strategically guarded technologies in the world. Unlike importing surface-to-air missiles or even aircraft platforms, acquiring jet engine technology is often restricted by both commercial competition and geopolitical sensitivity. The core of any combat aircraft is its engine. Without it, an airframe is just an empty shell, beautifully engineered but inert. For India, developing a jet engine domestically was not merely an exercise in engineering, it was a statement of sovereignty and scientific capability. After the 1971 Indo-Pak War and subsequent geopolitical shifts, India became acutely aware of the vulnerabilities posed by reliance on imported defense equipment. The need to develop homegrown solutions became even more evident during the 1998 Pokhran II nuclear tests, after which international sanctions severely curtailed India's access to aerospace technologies. Against this backdrop, the Kaveri engine program emerged not only as a technical challenge, but as a strategic imperative. The story of the Kaveri engine begins in the mid-1980s, when India initiated the Light Combat Aircraft Program, a project aimed at developing a supersonic, multi-role fighter to replace the aging MiG-21 fleet. While the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and the Aeronautical Development Agency focused on designing the airframe and avionics, the responsibility of creating an indigenous jet engine fell to the Gas Turbine Research Establishment under the Defence Research and Development Organisation. Established in 1959 and based in Bengaluru, GTRE had previously worked on turbojet and turboshaft engines, but had not ventured into the development of a full-scale afterburning turbofan, the engine class required for a modern fighter aircraft. In 1986, GTRE was tasked with developing the GTX-35 VS Kaveri engine to power the LCA, later christened the Tejas. This was a bold and visionary decision. At the time, even technologically advanced nations like Japan and South Korea were hesitant to develop indigenous engines due to their complexity and cost. The Kaveri engine represented a moonshot for India, a leap from relatively modest gas turbine projects to one of the most difficult feats in aerospace engineering. The Kaveri program was more than just a technical development initiative. Its objectives were deeply intertwined with India's strategic goals, technological sovereignty, free India, from dependence on foreign engine manufacturers like General Electric, Rolls-Royce and Snecma, Industrial capability building. Cultivate a domestic aerospace industry capable of manufacturing high precision components, composite materials, and high temperature alloys. Defense readiness. Ensure that future military aircraft could be powered by homegrown propulsion systems, unaffected by sanctions or licensing restrictions. Export potential position India as a future exporter of indigenous defense technologies. These goals underscored the importance of the project and justified the considerable budget and time allocated to it. To appreciate the magnitude of what GTRE set out to do, one must understand the challenges of building an afterburning turbofan engine. Materials science jet engines operate under extreme temperatures and pressures. Developing turbine blades that can withstand over 1500 degrees Celsius without melting is a serious materials challenge. Aerodynamics. The airflow within the engine must be controlled with incredible precision to avoid surges and stalls. Thermodynamics. Achieving efficient combustion and high thrust to weight ratios requires advanced understanding of heat and energy transfer. 
Manufacturing precision turbine blades and compressor components must be built to micrometer level tolerances. System integration. The engine must interface seamlessly with the aircraft's onboard systems, including fuel management, avionics, and environmental controls. These challenges are further amplified by the fact that jet engine designs are not openly shared. Countries guard them with the same secrecy as nuclear weapons. India had to develop nearly everything from first principles, from metallurgy to combustion physics. Institutions and Journey The Kaveri Engine Program brought together multiple arms of India's scientific and industrial ecosystem. The Gas Turbine Research Establishment, or GTRE, was the lead agency for design and development. The Defence Research and Development Organisation, known as DRDO, provided scientific and administrative oversight. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, or HAL, assisted with integration and manufacturing support. CSIR Labs provided testing and research facilities. Academic institutions like IUSC Bangalore, IITs and other engineering colleges contributed through research collaboration. Private sector vendors, including small and medium enterprises, supplied precision components, building the industrial base for future aerospace work. This ecosystem, although fragmented initially, grew stronger over the decades as more institutions and talent were brought into the fold. From the moment GTRE began work on the Kaveri engine in the late 1980s, the project was marked by both groundbreaking achievements and frustrating delays. The original plan was to have the engine ready by the mid-1990s, in time for integration with the Tejas prototype. However, unforeseen challenges in materials development, inadequate infrastructure, and repeated failures during testing pushed the timeline far beyond the initial estimates. By the late 2000s, it became clear that the Kaveri engine, in its current state, could not meet the power and reliability requirements for the LCA Tejas. Consequently, the Indian government decided to decouple the Kaveri from the Tejas project and opt for GE's F404 engines for the initial LCA variants. This was a major setback one that could have demoralized any organization. Yet, GTRE and DRDO did not abandon the project. Instead, they shifted focus towards using the Kaveri engine in other roles, including unmanned aerial vehicles, marine propulsion, and eventually India's next-generation stealth fighter, the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft. Even though the Kaveri engine has not yet been deployed in an operational combat aircraft, the significance of the program cannot be overstated. It is often said that failure is the first step toward innovation. The Kaveri program has built a foundation of indigenous expertise in critical technologies, from high temperature alloys to turbine blade cooling, that will serve as stepping stones for future success. Today, there is renewed hope. With assistance from international partners like Francis Safran, improved funding and a clearer roadmap, the Kaveri engine is poised for a rebirth, one that could see it power India's stealth drones or even modified fighter jets. In many ways, the story of the Kaveri engine is the story of India's rise as a scientific and industrial power, full of challenges, resilience and promise.